Hello, my name is Anastas. I'm a product engineer for nonlinear resistors at Vichy. Let me wish you a warm welcome to the part four of a series of videos dedicated to electronic simulation with thermistors and RTD. Today we will deal with an LTSPICE simulation of a temperature control application with a thermoelectric Peltier element, a controller from analog devices and a Vichy NTC thermistor. Here is a circuit derived from an application note on the ADN8834 for analog devices. The Vichet NTC thermistor, a fast NTC LE213 thermistor 10 kilo ohm, measures the temperature of the thermal mass of the Peltier. A SPICE model reproduces accurately the real NTC standout and out characteristic. The response time is external to the model and can be thus adapted to the application. For the ADN8834, the latest version of LTSPI 17 provides a SPICE model for this controller. The laser to be cooled is represented as an heat source directly injected into the thermal mass. Remains then the Peltier element that we need to calibrate for our application simulation. On the base of an excellent IEEE article listed in the references, I have recreated a model in anti-spice with the electrical and thermal elements for the hot heat sink, for the cold thermal mass, the silicon layer on both sides of the ceramic blades and the semiconductor itself. Here is the electrical circuit with the electrical resistance and the Sebeck voltage and here is the thermal circuit where every constituent has its RC equivalent thermal circuit. You can try to gather the value of those elements from the Peltier datasheet and from the weight thermal capacity of the heat sink heat source, but at the end of the day, the best adjustment will be made by a measurement of the transient variation of the hot temperature and the cold temperature after applying a current step to the element. You can then fit your measurements to simulation results where you have swept all the parameters throughout their possible ranges. The time has come to perform the simulation of our application. The goal here is to stabilize the thermal mass to a defined temperature while heat is produced by the laser module. We are going to try first 25 degrees C and then 27 degrees C by tuning the set temperature reference resistor. Well, we see during simulation that we have triggered the pulse width modulation mode of the ADN8834 and we see also that the thermal mass is finally stabilized within the defined range around the target temperatures. The total project relative to this simulation can be freely downloaded on the site of axter.io. You will find there the simulation descriptions and results, the schematics, the component references, as well as the LTSPICE netlists used for the thermistor and the Peltier element. You will find also many other simulation results. Well, that's it for the moment. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks for watching. Music